Hello everyone, today I am sharing 12 ways to look effortlessly stylish. That is a tongue twister, effortlessly stylish. Red leather, yellow leather, red leather, yellow leather. <laughs> I'm ready for this video. I hope you guys are having a great day. Consider subscribing. I feel like I never ask, like I, do, I don't do the, like, the call to actions anymore. You know, like subscribe. <laughs> that was a sneeze. The very first way that you can look effortlessly stylish is actually a tweak on something that everyone always talks about, which is the monochromatic look. You know, I've said this before too. Wear black on top and bottom, wear white on top and bottom, bada boom, bada bing, easy peasy outfit, but this is different. So you're gonna find a pair of pants, like a, a different pair of pants that's not white or black, like an interesting color, maybe blue, maybe this rust color that I found. I haven't worn these in a while. And then you're gonna find a top in a very, very similar color. It could be a little bit lighter, but you really want like the same shade. So it makes it easy. It's like effortless, you know? Uh, and then you're gonna put it together. And this is a combo that I would actually never think to do, but it's a different version of a monochromatic look. So really it's super effortless, uh, but it looks like you tried way harder than you did. Number two, also really good. Also kind of similar. Yeah, I had an epiphany, like an, a light bulb moment while I was online shoe shopping. I love when that happens. But anyway, I'll insert a photo here. Do you notice she is wearing the same color pants as her shoes? Now, you might ask like, what does that do? Well, yes, it is effortless. Again, takes the guesswork out of like putting things together, but it also elongates your legs. It tricks the eye, it tricks our brain into thinking our legs are longer than they actually are, which is something that most of the time we want. All right, so I'm gonna break things down even further. We're really gonna simplify things. I feel like everyone's always recommending like the top 10, 15, 20 wardrobe essentials, like the must haves for your closet. And we're gonna break it down to two specific shirts, a white button down shirt, like what I'm wearing, and then a light blue or light blue striped shirt. I don't know what it is about those shirts, but you can have them in your closet and always have something to wear. It's so simple, it's so classic. You can wear it with jeans, you can wear it with dress pants. To me, it is the epitome of effortless style. But that does lead me to yet another tip. If you're ever pulling out a shirt from your closet and you think to yourself, should I iron this or steam this? The answer is always yes. The answer is always yes. When in doubt, the answer is always yes. Next, I'm going to share some specific accessories, like, like I'm, I'm going into detail here, that require no thinking and will instantly make your outfit look more stylish. So you guys know, I am a Victoria Emerson partner. Maybe you don't know, but I am. I love her bracelets. They're such it's high Bogo, quality. It's buy one, They're get one so free. nice. And, and another reason I wanted to put it in this video is because when this video goes live, she's having a 4th of July sale, and it's like a big one. It's BOGO or buy one, get one free. So I will have everything linked down below. I always recommend the boho cuffs, which that's what this is. And the reason it's effortless, it's just like a little, you know, I, I say this, like instant arm candy. It's like different braces all connected by one magnetic closure. So you just snap it on without even thinking and it looks so good. And I especially love these in the summer. I feel like it just catches the light. It's just so summery and just pretty. She also has the rat bracelets and they come in so many colors. I'm just partial to the neutral, uh, but they really, again, reflect the light and catch the light. And there it is, it's so pretty. So if you haven't tried out her bracelets yet, you could definitely save a lot of money now and consider them as gifts too. Like I ordered a few extra, I have a lot now, but I always gift them out to my friends and family. Another specific accessory that you can always add to your outfit and look effortlessly stylish. I keep repeating what the title of this video is, but it's the sunglasses. But the thing is you have to look for a specific characteristic and that's when the sunglasses fade from dark to light. And I always share these key sunglasses, but I actually wanted to share a different version that's much more affordable. I still think these are affordable. I'll link these down below. Um, but these are actually like $11. Uh, and if you notice, they subtly fade from dark to light as well. Um, and there's just something about, you know, when sunglasses do this, it makes you look a little bit more glam and it honestly flatters your face a lot more. Skinny belts are yet another specific accessory that you can add to almost any outfit and take it up a notch. Now, I really like these because not only are they super affordable, they come in a four pack, you can get many different color combos, but again, they're so easy because they're, it's almost like it's not a real belt. Like it is a belt, but it's so stretchy that you just, you know, put it together like that and there's no weird flaps of the belt hanging out. You know how sometimes belts like they're either too short or they're too long and then you have to get double-sided tape to like tape down the side. This just automatically conforms to your body and makes you look much more stylish and flattering. And you know what? Let's just completely change gears here and talk about sweatpants because believe it or not, you can look effortlessly chic 
in sweatpants. I mean, that's the dream, right? So, you know, you just have to know the difference between cute sweatpants and ugly sweatpants. Cute sweatpants, ugly sweatpants. So if you notice the cute ones, see, see they fit, they're, they're flattering, they're not too big, they're comfortable. I mean, that's a win. And then the ugly sweatpants, See, they're, they're too big, they're like diaper pants. Don't, we don't wear the ugly sweatpants. Now, speaking of pants, I want you to also consider a good wide leg pair of pants because not only is it easy, but it also can look semi-dressy or casual. It can go both ways. Uh, and also, it just looks like you tried way harder than you actually did. So if you do not have a good pair of high-waisted wide leg pants, Now's your time to get a pair. Now with that said, this is a crucial tip to me. This is another one of those style tips that you want to burn into your brain. If your wide leg pants stop mid calf, okay? You want to make sure you either have heels on or you have an open toed pair of like sandals. So again, there's something about pants and this also applies to skirts, but if they hit you right at your mid calf, you really are gonna look stumpy unless you have heels on or you can see like the continuation of your foot. So don't wear closed toe shoes. You're gonna look stumpy and clunky. Okay, so this next tip is a little bit unusual. I, again, don't hear many people talk about it. I just have noticed it through the years and I also find myself doing it uh, to different outfits. And I think it's like a subtle change that makes a big difference. So it's just creating more of an open neckline. There's something about our brains being attracted to skin, you know, weird, uh, and you don't wanna make it too provocative. But if you do just open the neckline of your shirt, or you could even wear a shirt that just has a naturally open neckline, maybe like a scoop neck, it does make your neckline look longer and more flattering. It makes you look more friendly, more inviting, and more stylish. So many of you are going to hate this next suggestion and just completely disagree with me. Just take it with a grain of salt. If you like me now, you can leave and we can end on a good note. Just kidding, stay. It has to do with designer bags though. Yeah, I don't know what it is about a good designer bag, like a Chanel bag. You can be wearing the dumbest outfit ever. You throw on a Chanel bag and boom, your outfit just looks good, you know? Like I, I, again, so many of you are disagreeing with me right now, but it's just a tactic that I like to use. Chanel just does all the work. Ah, but I will win you back over with my cat. Everyone loves a good cat video, you know? Anyway, those are my 12 suggestions on looking effortlessly stylish and I'll have everything linked down below that I mentioned, including Victoria Emerson and that big sale that's happening right now. So thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up, maybe subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye.